So in past tense endings for regular ed endings, they have t ending, d ending, and id ending. Now, first of all, which one is voiced? T or d, t or d. Which one is voiced? Uh, is it the t or the d? Which one? Which one is voiced? D. d. Good. The d is voiced. And the t is voiceless. It's voiceless. T, t. No vibration here. Okay? So those are two things we need to know. Voiced versus voiceless. Voiced okay. versus voiceless. So what we need to know about is the base form of the verb before you add the past tense ending. What does that sound like? Okay, so we have the word rake. We're going to rake the leaves. We hear the last sound, rake. We don't want to think about the letters R-A-K-E because the E is silent. It's mute. The last sound is k. R a k rake. So what is the sound? Rake. Voiced or voiceless? Rake. K -k -k Voice. Voiceless. Therefore, the ed ending is raked because that's voiceless. So it matches. Rake, voiceless. Raked, voiceless. How about dump? Dump the garbage. Dump these old things in the trash bin. Dump. What is the sound? Also voiceless. So if you pronounce p voiceless, then the ed will be t dumped. Dumped. Oh, oh, please take out the garbage. Oh, don't worry. I already dumped the garbage. I dumped it already. Dumped. Okay, how about patch? So there's a hole in the roof, patch. and we need to patch it. What is the sound? Ch voiced or voiceless? Voiced. Voiceless. Voiceless. So if this is voiceless, ch then the ed will be voiceless. Patched. 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 Yes, he patched a hole. Patched. Yeah, I had a hole in my elbow, and I patched the hole in patched. the elbow of my jacket. All right, help. Patched. What is the sound, the last sound in help? Voiceless. Voiceless. So ed will sound like what? Light. So we say help. Help. Helped. Helped. Now, some of you may have a little difficulty because in your language you don't have so many consonants all put together. In English, we allow that. We have O, we have P, and T all squished together. Helped. That means you have to use your tongue for the L, and your lips for the P, and then your tongue again for the T. So all of that has to come one by one and then smoothly, helped, 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 helped. She helped me, she helped me. Finish, sound at the end, shh, shh, voiceless. So finish plus ed, finished, finished. I finished my work, I finished my work. How about s, s, voiceless, voiceless, impress, add ed, Impress plus ed impressed. impressed impressed. So this is the ed form. Some ed forms are used as verbs. Sometimes they're used as adjectives. So the past participle of a regular verb is also ed. So play play played play played played help helped helped impressed impressed impressed. The third one, which is called the past participle, can also be used as an adjective. So, I am impressed with your beauty I'm and intelligence. Impressed. I was impressed with their hard Rake. work. I'm impressed Rake. by the lovely garden that they designed. All right, so those are um, ed words that are derived from a verb and are used as adjectives. So, um, ma no matter whether it's used as a verb or as an adjective, the rule, the phonological rule is the same. Now, if we have a word like mo, what is the last sound? O. Vowel. O. All vowels are voiced. So, mo plus ed, we get mo d. Mowed. Mowed. I mowed the lawn. Pull. O. Pull. Last sound is o. 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 
that's voiced. So pull pulled. plus ed pulled. Pulled. How about turn? Turn. 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 Last sound. Turn. N n n definitely voiced sound. Turn. Makes my nose itchy when I say n. Okay, that's voiced. So turn plus ed turned. Turn. Turned on. Turned. I turned on the light. I turned on the television. I turned on the light. Turned climb. The. Now, in this word climb, what's the last sound? Is it the M or the B? M. Climb. The M, right. The B is silent. So just think of the M. Mm, M mm, voiced, right? Climb plus E-D. Climbed. Climbed. Climbed, climbed up, climbed, climbed down, climbed up and down the ladder. Water, last sound, er, er, water. voiced, er. water plus ed, watered, watered, watered. Okay, then we have watered. the word marry, last sound, marry, e, that's a vowel sound. Remember the letter y at the end of the word? It sounds like a vowel e, just like I see you. C and Mary, the same sound, E. So, E, Mary, plus E, D, Mary, D, Mary, D. Of course, the spelling changes, but we don't care about the spelling right now. We're just talking about the sound. Now, if a word ends in the T sound or a D sound, then it's impossible to put another T or D and hear it. So, in these two cases, we have to add an extra syllable, it. So, when we say want, the ed, wanted, extra wanted. syllable. Hate, t, t, is the last sound. Don't count the e because it's silent. H a t e. The e is silent. The last sound is t. So hate, add ed. We have two syllables. Hated, hated. hated. Start, last sound t. Ed, started, started. Add, started. last last sound d, d. So add, added. added, added, two added. syllables. Need, last sound, d, add ed, needed. needed. Weed, needed. last sound, d, add ed, pronounce we did, we did. So in those needed. cases, two cases, we add an extra syllable. Only when the base word ends in the sound t or in the sound d. Only sure. in those okay. two cases do we add an extra syllable. So we have to be careful. A lot of Spanish speakers, listen up. A lot of Spanish people will say an extra syllable like finish it, impress it. No, no, finish. no. In English, no. Finish t and impress t. So impress. in those first two columns in Sound Focus 4, the E of the ED we don't pronounce it. It only gives us the visual information that it's past tense. But phonologically, we only add one sound, either t if the final sound is voiceless, or d if it is voiced, with two exceptions, t and d. If the end in t and d, then with extra syllable is required. Want, wanted. Start, started. Add, added. Need, needed. So those are the rules for the simple past tense and the past participle of regular verbs that end in ed. Is that good? Yes. Okay. Did I answer your questions about that, Anna? Yeah. Thank you. You're very welcome.